Okay, what we got here, uh, we're day one on this. It's a 10 day master build. And um, me and Clown Hat, if you take a good look at the car here, we got it all ready for primer. We still got to go around and do a little bit of cleanup on the sanding. We got a couple pinholes right here, Clown, you didn't fucking get. And we got some dirt that you need to sand. But other than that, this is primer ready. That was our goal today. But we can't prime it because we're going to paint the firewall over here. Uh, before you build these cars, what you got to do is we got to get the firewall painted so we can start putting all the shit on the firewall, like the uh, AC dryer over here. Um, we got the brake booster. We got the steering column. We also got the uh, overflow bottle and whatever else goes on the car. Clown Hat is going to paint this. This is a tri-stage color. Let's look at it over here. Um, what we got here is we got the yellow base. All right, so that's our base. And then once that dries, this is kind of a candy apple paint job. I don't know if clowns ever, Clown Hat's ever done this. You can see the pearl there. Look what we got. Okay, that goes on top of this, which turns out to be some electrified fucking yellow shit. Um, I think it's going to look pretty awesome. I think it's going to look badass. And that's the color he wants, and that's what he's going to get. When you get involved in doing shit like this, this is costing you three times more money. This is a three times more money situation because uh, if you want to buy one gallon of paint, kind of like our green here, you got to buy two gallons of paint. And this paint here, which is our candy, is twice as expensive as buying one gallon of this. So it comes out to be triple the fucking price. Okay? So, where are we at? We got uh, Michigan Will over here getting our steering column ready. I don't, he's been working on that for a fucking hour. What the fuck, guy? Not a painter. Okay, being a painter and a taper is two different things here, buddy. I hate prep work. Where's the clown clock at on this action? We're going to be in the clown clock out tomorrow, dude, because we're going to have to start keeping track of your hours, pal. What the fuck? spray gun here today? Yeah. Okay, he's going to go ahead and spray this, and we're going to get some action to him. Is this the first time you've ever done Tri-Stage? Yeah, like a second or third. Second or third? Yeah. Is this the first time you've ever done this custom candy apple paint shit? Yeah. Don't get streaks on that firewall. Don't fuck with me. Don't ruffle my feathers. And don't put the chip on my shoulder, bitch. I want a good fucking job here. I want that bitch painted. If you can't paint that little three-foot fucking firewall, we got serious fucking problems here, guy. Okay, Will, let me ask you a question. Do you think he can paint that, or do you think I ought to take over? 
Uh, it's just a firewall. There's plenty of stuff hiding it when he's done. Right. So you're saying it might be sloppy or shitty or... No, I trust him. You trust him to paint it? Now, would you trust him to paint your Charger, Challenger, brand new fucking car? No. You wouldn't trust him to do that, but you're going to trust him to paint a $100,000 street car here? This is a $100,000 car? It'll be about a sixty grand car when it's done. Okay? Is your car worth that much? Yeah. Your car's worth... You can sell your car for $60,000. No, I couldn't. Then it's not worth that much, Will. Me, Thank you. Okay, clown hat. Let's get that. Okay, go around there and then take your two inch and wrap it up tight, dude. Now, we're going to cover this with uh, plastic, and then we'll cover the rest of the car with plastic. And then we already got our 55 Buick covered. I like the way you did that. That's a nice uh, situation. We want it nice and tight and straight, okay? Yeah. All right, get her done, dude. Yeah. Okay, what's up, 4 0? 9 4 0. I know. We took the 9 off for a second. How's it going? Norm, we don't need your fucking opinion, dude. Okay? I was just giving you a little okay. backlighting, Pete. Yeah. Let's go look at our firewall. We got to put the clear on. Let's see how 9 4 0 did on that. Can you get the flashlight over here, Norm? Let's go, Norm. Flashlight Working time. On Working on it. Look at that fucking yellow, dude. Okay, look at the sparkle in that shit. Okay, what this is, this is a tri stage paint here. Looking nice. Did you get up in here real good, Dylan? Yeah. You sure? You took the gun and went like that? All right, looking good, dude. So, Dylan went ahead and painted the firewall. Um, what did you got? Three coats of base, three coats of candy. Yeah. And then now what do we got to do, bud? Clear. Got to clear. Uh, this is our first day venture on our 10 day uh, 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 job that hopefully is going to be busting ass, uh, sucking nuts, and crushing nuts, and getting her done, Will. Yeah. Do you think we've got a lot done in the first day? Yep. All right, we got the steering column out. Will went ahead and took that out. Bring that light over here, Norm. All right, we went ahead and painted the steering column the same color as the car. We don't know if that's what the owner wants. We don't give a shit because it's already fucking painted. What do you think of that idea, Norm? I think it looks better than it did when it came out. It looks here. better than it did. He probably thought this was stainless steel and it ended up being steel and we had to paint it. Let's get some fucking clear. We gotta put two full wet coats of clear. When I say full wet, we want that shit wet, wet. Wet, wet, dude. We're not using wet, wet, but we want it wet, wet. All right? Don't get it too wet where it fucking runs off of there. We want it looking good, though. No curtains. shit done. Run into a bunch of problems. Day and, a half. Day and a half on this fucking car. Getting some work done, but we're also running into some damn problems. We got ten days, actually nine days to finish this car now, and I don't think we're gonna end up doing it. It's a fucking mess. It's a fucking bitch, and it's not going how we wanted it to go. So we don't know if it's gonna be done or not. All we're doing now, we're priming the car. We gotta get primer on it because the owner fucked it all up. Getting grease on the fucking thing. The whole thing's full of fucking grease. It's a piece of shit. And we're the ones fucking paying for it, bitch. Bitch. You got a problem with that wheel? Turn that camera around. Get his action on. I agree with you because it sucks that the motherfucker puts silicone brake fluid in it. Brake fluid's bad enough. It'll eat paint and it'll make the shit not stick. But silicone synthetic top five brake fluid is the fucking worst for fucking making shit stick. Another situation says bullshit. Fucking bullshit, dude. Bullshit. Come on over here. Show us what the fuck's up. We got a day and a half on this cocksucker. I wanted to have a bitch fried yesterday. Look what we got here. From the owner fucking with the brakes. We got fucking brake shit all fucked up in here. Look at this shit right here. Look at that. That's from brake fluid. Bleeding brakes, touching the car with greasy hands. Slimy shit all the way up into the door jam here. I don't know how the fuck all this shit happened. But it fucking happened. 
Now we gotta get this bitch prime. We gotta get on the stick here. We're not fucking making time here, 940. I'm fucking foaming at the mouth on this shit, dude. What the fuck? It's not fucking prime, 940. Fuck! Now let me get this bitch fucking prime so we can get down the road. Get! Live the fuck out of here. Hey, Will, what the fuck's going on, man? Oh, the owner put the fucking brakes together first, which could have easily been last. But what's the situation we got now? I'll tell you what, what the, the fucking fuck? deal is. I'm gonna let bust the balls in there while you guys have your fucking off. Is that the real story? We taped it all up and pressed it so we could get the work paint. Are you glad you came down here, Will? I'm sweating my balls off, man. It's bullshit, Will. It's bullshit. Now, is the owner a dumbass, or did you take two steps forward and now we're taking five steps backwards, or what's going on? I'm sweating my balls off, man. That and the fucking body tub, too, man. There's like five or six steps that he skipped ahead. It's bullshit, Will. It's bullshit. He supposedly had a book when you get a kit car, right? You're supposed to read the directions and follow the order of assembly. It's bullshit, Will. It's bullshit. I think he got excited, like most people, when they can do the mechanics, so they throw all the mechanics together. And then they say, oh, I can't do the body work, so they send it to the body shop. We're, we're wiping the ass that somebody took the shit on. I'm sweating my balls off, man. It's not, not that hot up there? Uh, it's, it's about the same, but I'm sweating my balls off, man. It's bullshit, Will. It's bullshit. All right, let me tell you this. Will was only here for 10 days, but you know what? He might be here a little fucking longer. I'm sweating my balls off, man. We might have 11. Motherfucker! We might have 11 days. It's bullshit, Will. It's bullshit. Motherfucker! It's bullshit, Will. It's bullshit. When you're a mechanic, you know it's going together right or going together wrong. You can stop and take it apart. Once you're something like this where you're painting it, the prep work, you think you got it done and you start getting fish eyes and shit, you know, it's too late to stop and make them take it back. It's fucking bullshit. It's bullshit, Will. It's bullshit. Cow shit, bullshit, work shit. We got a big old crap sandwich going on. I'm sweating my balls off, man. It's bullshit, Will. It's bullshit. Guess what? One and a half days to block sand it down and prime it. Do you understand what I'm saying? And Will, can you come over here? Bring yes. that fucking. Thing. Uh, can you uh, explain to everybody what this is? Come on over here, bud. Cause now, can I go? Hold on a minute. Okay, I'll be right back. Get a little angle with Will. Ooh. What do you think so far about this, Will? Well, it's definitely turning into the fiasco that it could be. Dealing with getting the booster back on there on the firewall and getting it jacked up in the air to try to keep going. Looks nice. Looks real, real nice. An uphill battle, and it's getting higher as you see. It's the, the mountain has raised another two feet. That's a good saying, Will. We've got the booster on, got the firewall painted, got the whole car block sanded down, got it all primered. Got the uh, guide code on it and uh, about to start knocking out some welding, huh? Okay, cork it. Can you come over here, Will, and put that down, please? Come on over here, bud. Come here. Come on over here, guy. Over here, buddy. Now, we got a little thing over here, see? Uh, you can see my clown clock. Can everybody see that? What time is it now, Will? Of course. Six, uh, 10, 1030. What time is it? 6.45. Motherfucker. It's 5. What time is it on your fucking watch, dude? About your clock, your Son of a bitch. 5.08. Okay, thank you. 
You had Dylan jump in there when I had to holler. Okay, this is what we got, guy. Do you see that right there? That's actually about, okay, right here. Okay. The situation we got is we dicked around all day on some t-shirt action. First we had to go get the t-shirts, which turned out to be a fucking clown act. Am I right? Through and through. We went over to the barbecue place to show Will some Texas-style barbecue, and it turned out to be a fucking clown act. Okay? What else turned out to be a clown act? Exactly. Super guy, stud fucking cocksucker, sticker dive fucking dude. Turned out to be a clown act. So we are now back at work at, at nine minutes after five, after dicking around all day. Come on over here, Will. Um, you see that right there? Yeah. Okay, do you see this guy right here? That's my little tool guy buddy system uh, clown act. Okay, see there? He's my little clown that keeps the clock going. Okay, he's the clock ringer guy holder dude. Okay. He's telling me that it is now, I'm sorry, 10 minutes after 5, because we've been dicking around, and you came all the way down here from Michigan to show us how to do it right. Trying. Do you believe he's doing that? 9-4-0. Be honest. That's what we're here for, to be an honest. So, I don't think he's showing us shit. So far, I don't know. I don't think he's showing us shit, dude. You guys were supposed right. to have a primer before uh, I got here, so we're complaining. First of all, I don't have all there, my tools here. That I don't well, have a chance to get ripped. Okay, in. first of all, I don't have all my tools here. Where is my air saw and my die grinder? Motherfucker! We're working on a fiberglass car. We need the air saw, the die grinder tool, and the other shit. And you put it away, Will? I put tools away when I'm done with them. We're working on a fucking fiberglass car here. Okay? We got a lot of cutting to do. We got a lot of, uh, a lot of shit going on. And I got to do what I got to do to get the shit done right. What I got here, I got my diploma. Do you see what that is? That's a DIY auto school certified modified diploma of accuracy, diplomacy, and doing it right. Okay, and I was going to actually present Mr. Clown, what's your fucking uh, 734 with a diploma once he left DIY auto school. This goes behind the clown clock. Okay, and that's where that will stay, Will, with nobody watching it. Okay? Now, I asked you this morning to cut a hole out. Where's our dash out? Did you hide that? Of course. You put it back, too, because we're not even done with it. Didn't want to drop it. Can you show everybody the hole that you cut out with the hole saw? How long did it take you to do that, Will? To measure it out and mark it and cut it? 45 minutes. Huh? My fucking ass. We had that cocksucker sanded and ready to prime in two hours before you had that done. Okay? Two fucking hours to take a fucking hole saw and cut a hole out. Is this guy worthy enough to get the situation right, 940, keeping it straight? Or is he fucking doing it crooked? and going round on me instead of square. So, this is the situation we got. Now we got like three fucking jobs going at once. I put you on this job, wanting you to finish out the dash so we can go ahead and have 940, being the, over here, painter that he's been, to go ahead and paint the dash. But that can't happen, because we're not done. We got to get the AC control unit put in. We got a couple lights and thingamajigs to put in there. And then possibly, see what else needs to go on. I'm sorry, the light switch has to go in. We're not done, dude. We're not fucking done. Maybe the ignition switch in here. I didn't see ignition. So, this is a 10 day project. You've been here going on two days. That leaves us with eight fucking days. I don't see shit happening here. I'm sorry, can you bring that over here? Now it's 5.15. That's the time everybody goes home, dude. That's checkout time for most of America. Spent four hours off in the truck today. I'm sorry, do you got something to say? Spent four hours off in the truck today. And you're not getting paid for that either. That's a free ride to fucking Dallas, Texas, as far as I'm concerned, bro. It's bullshit, Will. It's bullshit. Let's put okay. four hours back in. Now, 
We got Concrete Norm over here. We're gonna go get, can you show everybody a little bullshit act you did for three fucking hours there? We're gonna get Norm over here. I don't even see the rest of the AC controls. There you go. Code of digital. That's how you fit. Snog. Looks Can I beautiful. see that? Can I look at it? Okay, I like that. For two hours, that thing should have fit in there like that. Don't lean it too far. We don't want to break them. Now, where's our AC controls at, Will? Can you get it for us? Can we leave that in there? Just for a second. AC. AC. The small white box in the AC box of parts. Where is the AC? I don't know where the fuck you put it. Now it's lost. Okay, well, let me this do this. Right here. Okay. Chair. I think he's getting nervous, dude. I think he's fucking breaking down on us. Uh-huh. Take it easy, Will, alright? Don't get nervous, but... Easy, soldier. Okay, so here's our control panel. What I was thinking, this is my suggestion since I've built over 397 of these. Okay, I was thinking, since he's not cutting this out, we got gauges going across, maybe what we ought to do is mount this up here. Okay. But we got to go up high, we can't go down low with it, okay? It's not wide enough. Okay, now, in the directions of the air conditioning unit system, there is a page that has a printout of this that you got to take an X-Acto knife and exactly cut it out so you can have a pattern for that. Template. Okay. How long will that take you, Will? Be honest. Uh, I don't know, another five hours? Okay, so we don't just have a clown here. we got a sarcastic Yankee bastard clown. All right, do you see what time it is now, Will? It's time for me to grab an X-Acto knife. No, it's not. Okay, come here. No. No. If you can come over here a second, please. Guy. Will. Cut or not? We're not cutting the template today. If you let me explain the rest of the story, instead of taking shit into your hands and doing what you think needs to be done, I was telling you what needs to be done to this, so Clown 94 Fuck Guy over here, Mr. Zero, can go ahead and do his job and we can get a production line going. We just killed another teammate. Dicking around talking about this and not letting my friend Pete talk. I think that's very rude and inconsiderate to not let me talk. I can listen while I cut. You don't need to cut because we're not doing that today. So the owner went ahead and took it upon himself to weld all this steel structure in without installing the floor, without installing the rear bulkhead, which was the wrong idea. So we have to do some extensive shit. Um, we are not going to take all the steel structure out because it is welded, but the problem we have, it's not really welded good. Am I right, Will? No penetration. It's breaking apart. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe what we can do is we can go ahead and put Will on uh, welding. What are you thinking, 940 Assistant Technical Guy, SWRC Dillon? I hope he can handle that. Do you think he can do that <laughs> in an ample amount of clown time? I hope so. What do you think? Uh, you tell me to do something. I'll tell you what I'm going to change my program. I'm not so. going to tell you shit. Looky here. Come on over here. Okay, he welded this, but if you can swing the camera, you can see where he fucked up over there. Um, he's got clamps holding it over there. This over here action. And where's the busted one? Here it is right here. Okay, this busted off of here. So what uh, 946 is doing? No, 743. 734. 734 is going to do. He's going to come in here and go all along all this and make sure all this is welded. Let's see how the clan clock reacts to him doing that. Will he get his diploma from DIY Auto School when he goes home, or will we go ahead and burn it and throw it in the trash? That's the question, SWRC Dillon. That's the question, because I'm the principal and he's the assistant principal. Because school is in session I'm, every day. I'm just a janitor cleaning toilets. It's bullshit, Will. It's bullshit. And that's exactly how you're treating me. By taking something that takes 30 minutes to do and giving me two hours of fucking bullshit. Okay? And anybody out there that lives in Europe, you know what that fucking means. I suggest that we get the welder set up and at least try to do that job. At least. What are you thinking there? At least. If it is now 525, what's your speculation to him finishing the welding job on that? 
Yeah, it's 525. Is it? Yeah. I'm pretty good. Yeah. Pretty accurate. The clown clock's pretty accurate. <laughs> okay, so let me ask you this. What's your speculation on him getting yeah, that welded? The side of the shop right over there. Look on the ground, bud. What's your speculation to him you doing this? Go it? open the door. No, right and, there. And, and no, it's right on the ground. Okay, did you put the cord away, 940? It should be right there, a black cord laying it's on the on ground. It's on the other side. Open the door and fish it through. Motherfucker. Okay, we got to go. It is now 525, clown clock time. Okay, there you go, 526, clown clock time. Mm, mm, mm. We got our little clown keeper here take, taking orders with clown clock. And we also got Will's, looky here, come on over here. Got okay, we got his DIY auto school diploma. It's not signed, certified, or spec'd out. We both gotta sign that to release him from school. Do you see it's Southwest Road Custom? I'm thinking we're gonna end up throwing this in the trash, dude. It's already got barn marks around the dude or something. I'm okay, hold on, there he is. Well, let me see that. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's put that back here behind the clown clock, okay? Because that's gonna tell us if Will is really a real fucking guy, or if he's a bullshitter. Did you figure it out, Will? Yep. Okay, bud. Are we mad? Is there anything wrong? You... Just trying to keep Do you need shit to take moving, a break? Dude. You need to take a break, or I just want to keep shit moving. Okay. Wasting a lot of time talking about okay. shit, about getting shit done, but we're not getting shit done by talking about. It. You gotta have a game plan. Will. You gotta have a game plan, my Will. My game plan is always in my fucking. We gotta take it easy. Game plan. Okay, relax, dude. The Hold on. Relax, bud. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. We all gotta have the same plan if we want to get the shit done and all okay. in order. Okay. All right, Dylan, can you handle this situation, White? Okay, hold on. Let Dylan do that. I'm just gonna bag it back up. Bag and tag. There you go. Let Dylan handle this situation. We'll take care of the dash. You get done with some welding, okay, bud? Okay. We'll leave you alone. Keep it it straight. Keep it it straight, dude. Keep it it straight. And there's people out there in the world that actually want to come over here and work with us. Do you believe that shit? That's crazy, man. What are you thinking now, Will? I don't know. Oh, so now you're changing your mind. First you wanted to, now you're saying you don't know? You're riding me for nothing. <laughs> Who's riding like who? Like a penny pony at Myers. <laughs> Who's fucking riding who? You got a free hat, dude. It's bullshit, Will. It's bullshit. You got a free hat, Will. We burned that up the first day. <laughs> We're on day three now. No, this is day two. Well, day two one and a half. Quarter. One and three quarter. Yeah, one and three quarter. Let's get some welding done. An hour and a half in on the first day. I'm you sorry. might want to get that little grinder and find yourself a bare metal spot for a good ground, Will. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to tell him how to do it. Let's just let him do it, bud. Okay, we need to get to work, dude. Clown clock time is 525. We're going to see how long it takes Will to get some welding done over here. And hopefully he's going to do it in an ample amount of time where we're actually getting something done on our 10-day uh, street rod job. Uh, looking pretty good. I like it. Uh, we got the firewall painted. We got all of it primed, ready to go. It's now time to get down and get her done. Uh, T.W., come here. What time is it? I know. I know what time it is. I'm going to show you, all right? Six forty. That's what time it is right there. It is now 6.37. There's the phone ringing. I'll bet you I know who that is. Many of the body shop girls says, you better get your ass home. Can you answer that, please, T.W.? What is Let's that? go, let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 dude. T.W., to the rescue. Tell her we're on our way. Lock it or down. TW's answering the phone now, see. We got TW answering the phone, bud. Alright, we'll be there. Yep, bye. Yes, sir. Come on over here, SWRC Dillard. Technical assistant guy. Come on over here, bud. Can you grab the flashlight, TW? What's that? The flashlight? What's it's a light that what? you push a button with. What's TW? Turn the motherfucking light on, TW. Will, let's name? see. I've never heard T at it before. <laughs> Tough Will. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Will. Good. Uh, hey, TW. Give us a technical fucking. Put. Give us a technical situation here and show us everything you did. 
welded this back together, okay. welded around the rest of them and right, finished that right. one up. Okay, got Locked that. Locked these down all the way where they were spot welded. Right, right. All of this, up underneath here, both okay. sides, down here. Right. Around these bars, all up in here, this corner. And then of course. Back down here, underneath, back behind, underside. And then a mirror reflection over here, okay. Yep. All we're not done, MS. TW, we got more welding to do. Word I miss. Follow me, bud. All right, what we got here is a situation that says not all of our steel is installed in the car. Oh, those. We got steel braces and brackets. Uh, we got to weld these in. Look. Okay. So tomorrow morning, first thing, my friend Pete's going to hook you up, show you where they go, and you're going to weld them in. Cool. We also got to weld in uh, a bar. We got to get a, a two by two bar welded across in there, and we also got to weld some nuts on there. Uh, I'm sorry, some bolts for some ground action so we can put our ground wires on so we can get this thing in gear and ready to go um the firewall's not looking too good i don't like that see that big gap right there we got to get some liquid now we got to glue that up seal it up tight down on the bottom there um we're also missing something on the bottom here i don't know what it, quite what it is yet but i'm gonna figure it out that big fucking opening there i don't like it and i'm telling you what's missing you want me to tell you can i go ahead and do that tw guy that you are from fucking new jersey Michigan. The floor, the floor pan. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. SWRC Dillon's on top of it. What was it, bud? The floor pan. TW is slow today, dude. Okay. The transtunnel. We got to get that floor pan cut in half because why, TW? Because it should have gone in. Because the owner fucked up, dude. Okay. Do you see that snap on flashlight I got right there? Yep. Okay. It's called My Friend's Pete Spotlight Action. It's a spotlight time over here. SWRC Dylan, keeping it straight. <laughs> my sunglasses on with okay, that Okay, he did that in about an hour, dude. What are you thinking? I think he did great, man. You think he did a good job? I mean, you know, now, your common average Joe guy, uh, to weld all that up, penetrate it hard, I mean, get down, do the reach around, and really wobble it up good, and, and fucking weld it where it's built like a tank. That took approximately one hour to do. What are you thinking? Was he keeping it straight on that, or was he, like, fucking around, dude? Hey, I'm the only one that keeps it straight around here. Okay, dude. but we're trying to teach TW how to get it straight. I was fighting the welding tip stick. Well, first off, he's got to change the lid, dude. The lid? The lid. Well, I don't think he's going to do that, dude. Well, that's the only thing he ain't keeping straight. Okay. Do you think the welding was straight? Do you think yeah. he did a good job on that? Thank you. Okay, good. Okay, TW's working it out. It. TW's doing a good job. TW might earn the situation that says... He's a do-it-right guy, dude. He's a doobie dude. You know what I'm saying? A doobie dude. A doobie guy. Yeah. Romper room doobie dude. T.W. Come on over here. I want to show you a little secret, T.W. Uh, we had a little situation over here this morning, didn't we, guy? Yeah. Took a little bit of time cutting out a hole, dude. Now, in the time that you did that... Okay, SWRC Dillard, being the guy that he is, the technical assistant, precisely cut that out, got the AC in, and also, can you turn that over, please? Ground down, fit tight, everything that's supposed to be done, dude. Are we fiberglass guys here or no, TW? That's a hole in a rectangle. This has got multiple fucking curves to it. Okay, excuses, excuses, dude. Justifying conversations don't work over here. Try to make it perfect, that's all. Okay, what we got here, we got a little clown man here telling us that we are now into the 645 situation. It's trying to close down, get her done, do it right, and be back tomorrow morning. Because Sammy Salami's telling us to stick it in your fucking ass. actually sitting in my truck because I have to go get some supplies to work on the 10 day 10 day street rod build um, what I got these clown acts doing is uh, cutting out some fiberglass that we see right here and then we got clown number two back there 
and he's actually drilling and prepping up some metal brackets that need to be welded. What I need to do is get my shit together, get over to the hardware store, and get the parts that we need to finish this bitch out so we can get down the road and literally start actually doing something to the car instead of what you're looking at right here, stand around, twiddling our thumbs, and using fucking hood props as person props. You know, I got these guys complaining. We got dull uh, saw blades. We got dull uh, drill bits. Everything we're using here is dull. Nothing's good. What the fuck's going on? Can I get a fucking break on that? Can I fucking go say, hey, let me fucking go to the store and get the shit we need so we can finish this job out? We got fucking uh, Michigan Will down here. Um, Will. What about this guy, Will? He came down to my shop in the summertime, I believe it was uh, late June, shake a hand, make a friend, told me how he watched my videos and I inspired him to get off his ass. I kind of had a feeling for this guy, Will. Um, I said, okay, since you want to come down here and work, make me a spider web with a spider on it for my folks like, I mean, what the fuck, right? Um, I let him do that, seemed like he knew what he was doing. Um, and I asked him and I invited him back and said, hey, I got this kit car out here. We need some extra help. You want to come back and help us on it. I'm paying him to do it. It's not for free. I don't expect anybody to do anything for free because I don't expect people to do free shit for me because I know what it's like working for a fucking living and making money. I know what it's like losing money and I know what it's like getting freebies and I also know what it's like when you have somebody work for free for you and they don't really give a shit. So getting paid to do something that you offer to do for free is an incentive for you to do a quality job. And that's why I'm paying him to be here. But we're on a time schedule, for one. And if he's lagging his ass, I'm going to get on his ass. Because I am paying him by the fucking hour to work. Do you see what I'm saying? So if he lags ass and I'm paying him good money to fucking work. And we're clowning around and not doing anything. And he's tinker toying around and, and taking three hours to drill a hole in a fucking piece of metal with a dull drill bit. I got a fucking problem with that. I got a problem with that. But the real deal is, is I got to get my ass over there, get the parts that we fucking need to get the shit done in 10 fucking days, should I say eight days now, seven days, and we're going to be working on the weekend. I'm going to have to have Dylan here on the fucking weekend, paying him, all right, and hopefully getting shit done to say when 10 days is up, we got it done. All right, I just got back from the hardware store uh, getting what I needed to get the job done. And if we look outside here, we can see that uh, 940 is actually doing something. What are you doing? Cutting this floor pan Why? in half. Because it should, should have been done in there in the first place already. What do you mean, should have been done? This should have already been in the car. So you're saying the owner fucked us in the ass? Yeah, so now we got to cut this thing in, apart. and then got to cut it in the ass back together. That's and right. Get it put back so we got car. fucked in the ass on yeah, that. How does it feel getting the round and not a square? Like this up your ass. <laughs> Like that up your ass. Keep working. And then if we walk in here, we see TW doing nothing. All right, that's bullshit. Don't pick the fucking hammer up because the camera's on. Okay? We see you on break while everybody else is working. Why is that? Sweat? So you think Dylan isn't out there sweating? Yeah. Okay, the time has now changed to this right here. So it's almost been... Okay, right there. All right, so we have actually been working for an hour and a half. Let's see what TW, Twinkle Toes Will, is doing. Okay, so in one hour and a half, what have you got done? All the brackets are welded down. Really? What are you doing now? Why are you playing with your phone on my fucking time? And eating fucking apples. Letting my mom I'm no, still alive. And actually eating apples, too. Is that part of your medication? Gotta stay healthy. What have you been doing, dude? Got your brackets welded in here. Okay. In here. Right. Put this weld up here. That you were supposed to do last night. And this night, got that welded. Yeah. Welded your outsides here and there. And I started beating your bar forward to try to get it tight to the windshield for no vibration. And you didn't even beat it in the right place, dude. Why would you beat it right there? You were beating it in this area here, am I right? Just trying to work around. That's not the way to beat the fucking bar. To get it to go closer. Where would you beat it? I tried at the well. Where? I don't see any fucking marks over here. I don't see any marks right there. Okay? Watch. Put the hammer head on there tight. It's not 
fucking working out, Will. Cut it. It's not working like I want. We got a fucking headliner shell that goes up in here. Do you see these lips right here that I'm looking at? Go all the way around and it lines up with this. You see this right here? Yes. And then it would come right here. What we're going to do is we're going to get some flat stock. Some inch, one inch flat stock. We're going to bend it to an angle, okay? Like a little frame picture, 45, 90 degree angle. We're going to stick it up in here. That's going to give us a situation that's going to shim it so it won't be that. And then we're going to weld it on here and we're going to face it up just in a little bit of an angle to match this that goes there. Okay. Think we can do that? Get it done. I need four fucking tabs welded across here. Starting right here, two, and then two in the middle here. And I want them about approximately one inch this way and approximately a half an inch this way. 45 or 90? You said 45. No, I want you to tell me. I believe If I want them to go straight up this way and straight out that way, what is that, Will? 90. Exactly! I thought you said I said 90, 45, 45, 90. What the fuck, dude? That's what I want you to use, right there, look. See where my foot is? Get it, right there, on there. All right, find one that's not 20 feet long. All right, if you can't get that, chop a piece off on the shop side. Get her done, Will. Let's go. I'm gonna be working with Clown Hack. Can I trust you by yourself? Here's your safety glasses. Sorry, I had to use them when I was fucking hammering. Next time I won't use my safety glasses and I'll get a chip in my eye and you'll fucking laugh at me. Will. It's bullshit, Will. It's bullshit. Uh, Will, can you do me a favor and get that uh, brake pedal out of there, please? We gotta get this floor in. And it's not looking pretty. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, so while Will is doing that, me and Clown Hat are gonna go ahead and set the floor in there and hopefully that's gonna go in with no problems. All right, since the owner gave us the shimmy shaft on this situation, we had to take matters into our own hand. Um, basically, the floor is supposed to be set in here before, all right, before, it's supposed to be set in here before you put the body on, but he didn't do that. So now what we gotta do is we gotta fit this floor in there to fit, and then fiberglass all this back together. So um, we're gonna bring it in here, if you can lift your hand up, and then slide it in here like this, there you go. That one there looks pretty good, I like that. Let's go get the other half, we'll throw it in here and see what it looks like. Once we get the floor in, what we gotta do is we gotta finish out the inside of the firewall here by adding a uh, one by one or a one by two bar uh, so we can mount all of our electrical accessories on that. And then of course we gotta weld some lugs, um, quarter inch lugs, I would say studs or bolts, whatever, onto that bar so we can have us a ground area where we can start grounding off our electrical system. We still gotta put our air conditioning unit in. We gotta get uh, TW to get that steering column back in once he gets done with all the welding. Welding is very important. And what the fuck is he doing here? What are you doing with that? Just making a straight For what? You wanted these to go flush across from here to here, right? Okay, what are you talking about, dude? I thought you wanted something to go from there Okay, to there if you wanna get that precise, precise, yeah, let's do that, okay? Motherfucker guy. All right, so yeah, we got a lot of shit going on. We'll be back once the floor's in and then take it from there.
Adios, amigos. It's bullshit, Will. It's bullshit.